Hey guys, it's Kayla. What's up? I'm finally back in the groove of things. I'm so happy to finally get this video up. Um, today, I am going to be doing a huge collective haul of stuff that I've gotten <laughs> in the past like three weeks. Um, I'm actually doing a lot of makeup things in this haul. So yeah, that's kind of what's happening right now. So today's video is going to be a huge collective haul because I have not done a haul in a long time. And I thought, you know, why not kick off my return back onto my channel with the haul? I mean, who doesn't love a great haul? So I'm going to be doing a collective haul from uh, elf.com, Eyes Lip Face Cosmetics, um, Target, and Old Navy. My three favorite places. Woo! So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to start with the beauty products first. Um, like I said before, this is a collective haul. I didn't all just buy these things recently. I've gotten them over the past, like, three weeks, but I was just waited till I got enough stuff that I wanted to do a haul. I was originally going to do a beauty haul, but then I was like, eh, let's just hold it off. So, you guys, is this brush, just so you guys can see it. And it is the e.l.f. Fan Brush. It's so soft. Um, you're supposed to use this to help with... Uh, contouring and highlighting your cheeks, but also if you have like extra makeup on your face. You're supposed to use this with helping contour and highlight your cheeks, but if you were to have like extra eyeshadow under your eyes or you put on too much powder, um, you can use this just to like dust it off, which is really nice. It's super soft. Um, I've been using it a lot. I used it a lot during prom. And I gotta say, it was totally worth buying. I think I only paid $3 for this, which is really cool. And for your first purchase with e.l.f., um, if you sign up and give them your email address, you get free shipping on no minimum order, which is so nice. Which is why I got a lot of stuff, because it was free shipping, and who doesn't want free shipping? So that's the first thing I got from e.l.f. is from their studio collection. I'm just gonna set this back up here. It's from the studio collection. And it is just this, which is the e.l.f. HD Blush. I got it in the shade Encore. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it, I have to say. It's a cream blush, which is nice, but it I would use it more so for a nighttime look if I was doing a really heavy, dramatic makeup. Uh, you guys know me, I usually go for a really light makeup look, so this was definitely something that... I was not prepared to have on my face. Um, it's really pretty though. I love the color. And this is going to be perfect for graduation, which there's going to be some graduation makeup tutorial videos coming up soon. Uh, but this is perfect for graduation just so you can get that really nice flushed look. Um, and it can show up during pictures. And you can easily go from day to night with it. So I do recommend it. I'm just not the biggest fan of it for like my everyday makeup look. I would use this more so for my night looks or if I was going somewhere really fancy then I would use this because of the um pigmentation of the blush is really nice but you can easily see it against my skin tone so I don't know yet I don't know yet so I got two things from e.l.f. for my face face um I got a lot of blushes I'm just gonna say that now so the second blush I got is this one which just make sure it focuses, is the blush in the shade Blushing. Um, I really, really like this blush. I actually have it on right now, and it's so pretty. It's so light and summery, and it just gives you such a nice glow, which I love. Um, it goes on really nice, and it's really, like, creamy, I want to say. It has a really nice pigmentation. Um, I definitely recommend this blush. I think I only paid $2 for it. Like, it was really cheap, which was insane. So I was really happy about that. And then to go with the brush, I got the e.l.f. bronzer. And that is in the shade Glow. This, again, is really creamy. It goes on really nice. And I am wearing that right now. Um, I absolutely love this bronzer. I was always afraid of contouring and highlighting my face. And I'm starting to ease into it. So I have to say, this is really nice for beginners if you just want to lightly dust it. Otherwise, I would also recommend the NYC bronzer. Um, I've heard a lot of people say they liked it. I've tried it out and I liked it, but otherwise, 
definitely go with the e.l.f. bronzer. I really, really like it, and I definitely recommend it. That is the e.l.f. all over color stick, and just ignore the, like, gunk on it. Um, I actually have this on right now, and I use it as a highlighter. I absolutely love it. It's in the shade Lilac Petal. Guys, this smells so good. Like, I was putting it on today, and I was like, mmm, what's that smell? And then I smelled it, and I was like, oh my god, it smells like pink lemonade. I love it. Um, I really like the glow that it gives you. Uh, like I said, I do have it on my cheeks right now. It's so pretty. I put it on my cheeks. I put it on my cupid's bow, and I put it right in the middle of my chin. I don't know why. I was just like, let's do it. Um, it's really, really nice. It goes on nice, blends out really nice. I just got, this is just a nice product. I absolutely love it. So the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is definitely a beauty essential for me. Um, I used to not wear them, and then I got some, and I was like, oh my god, this is everything I need in life and more. And it is lip liners. So I first got into lip liners and was kind of introduced to it by watching makeup tutorials um, by Liz Ryan on YouTube. And she swore up and down by lip liners. She was like, you need to use it. It's so perfect if you don't like lipstick or you're not a big fan of lip gloss or something or even a lip stain. It works really well, really, really, really well. So I went out and I bought some and I've been obsessed with lip liners. And I went on e.l.f. and I got some. And as you can tell... They have definitely been used, this one more so. I got them in the shade Bitter and Bark. And this is what they look like. I actually have Bitter on my lips right now and I've been wearing it like crazy. I wore it for my prom look and I have to say it was an amazing lip on. It goes so well with dark lips. Um, it looks really nice to have like a dramatic makeup look to your entire piece, especially since I go for more natural eyes and like more of a dewy skin. So this definitely pulls my entire makeup look together. I absolutely love both of the lip liners and I recommend it. I think it only cost a dollar for them. Yeah, the lip liners are really cheap. So definitely go out and get some. And that's pretty much everything I got from e.l.f. So I'm going to move on to things that I got from Target. The first is this nail polish um, from Sinful Colors, and it is in the shade Copper Pot. And that is just what this looks like. It is literally, it is literally so good. I wore this for my prom um, nail polish. And I love it. I got so many compliments on the shade. And if you guys don't know, for prom, I actually did my own nails. So I went and bought acrylics, did them, glued them on myself, polished them, everything. Um, I definitely recommend this. It's a perfect statement nail polish. It has such a pretty pigmentation, and I love the way it shines and the light. It just looks so pretty, and it has like a golden shimmer to it, even though it's copper, and I just, oh, I love it. I love sinful colors. I love their nail polishes. I love this nail polish. I actually really like it for summer, just because it can make any skin tone look really tan. Like, I put it on, and I instantly look darker, which is probably not the best thing, because I'm already dark, but you know what? I'm going to work with it, because this nail polish gives me life. Um, I believe this only cost me $1.99, so you should definitely pick it up again that is in the shade copper pot things that i got from target um makeup wise are both eye products the first one is the voluminous miss manga mascara by l'oreal i have been recommended to get this mascara so long and every time i see it i'm always like oh i'm gonna get it next time i'm gonna get it next time because i literally swear by my cover girl but i actually have this on my lashes right now and I like zoom in so you guys can see that. Guys, I love this mascara. This is just what it looks like. The packaging for it was so cute. And it is like the best thing I've ever gotten. 
I definitely recommend this mascara. It like lengthens and darkens and like makes your eyelashes look so full and so amazing and it gives you the perfect fluttery look. And I just love to put it on even if I weren't doing like a full face of makeup but I knew I wanted to look a little bit more put together before I leave the house. I just put on a few coats of this mascara, put on a lip liner, and I'm out the door. And you would think that I would like tragic, but then I get so many compliments from people about it. It's like the perfect thing. And because it's so dark, because I got this in just like black, in black noir, um, it literally looks like you even have on a really, really thin coating of eyeliner when you put on your top and bottom lashes. Like you filled in your waterline and whatever you tight lined your eyes that's what it's called um so i definitely recommend this i believe i paid eight dollars for it and it's totally worth it especially for such a cheap mascara it gives you amazing results so i definitely recommend the voluminous miss manga mascara by l'oreal all right so the last thing that i got is the mega eyes eyeliner by wet and wild it looks like i have used the crap out of it I promise I haven't. <laughs> I think this is like my fourth time from wearing it. Um, I absolutely love it. I wanted a new eyeliner because I wanted to do winged eyes more, but the eyeliner I did have either didn't really like or it just wasn't giving me a good wing. So I actually got this one and it's a felt tip. As you guys can see. And it gives you such precise lines. That's so nice. I actually have it on my eyes right now. And this is how I got my winged eye look. I absolutely love it. It's so great. I think it was like $2. It was super cheap. And it's just really, really nice. I'll definitely be getting more of this. I want to compare it to the... I have to say it's, kind of, it's similar to the Benefits um, push-up eyeliner I think that's what it's called the benefits eyeliner that goes with the their real mascara I can't think of the name of it right now but I remember I used to use my sister's all the time and I loved it and this reminds me a lot of it so I definitely recommend it if you guys are just beginners and you're doing eyeliner for the first time or if you just want a really really nice eyeliner for really really cheap I definitely recommend the um wet and wild mega eyes eyeliner and this is in the shade 869 or just pure black things i only have one thing from Navy i want to show you today and it is this black romper this is just what it looks like it has a tie waist so you can cinch it in and it has a v-neck and it's just spaghetti strapped guys i love this romper i have been wanting a romper for so long i've been looking around for one and i actually saw it four times while i was there and every time I went, I was like, oh, I'm going to get it. Oh, I'm going to get it. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I wound up getting it. And I only paid like $8 for it, which is such a steal. I was really happy to get it. absolutely love it. It's so comfortable in the summertime. Um, it's perfect to just throw on when you don't want to do too much for your outfit. I'm actually planning on wearing this today when I'm done filming the video because I have to go out and run a few errands. Um, it's perfect to dress up or dress down, which is really, really nice. And who just doesn't love a good romper, right? So I got that from Old Navy for $8 and I actually got it in a size 3X. Um, traditionally, I am a 2X, but I was like, you know what? It's worth it. So I got it and it's a little bit loose fitting, but I'm perfectly okay with that. So the last thing that I got, or not the last thing, the second to last thing that I got are these Birkenstock like shoes and they are from Target. And they are the Sam and Libby brand. I got it in a size 10, as you guys can see. And I actually got it on clearance for $8.98. I have been wanting these shoes since I first saw them in the springtime. I was like, I want them. They're so cute. I wanted the silver pair, but they didn't have it in my size. So I was like, you know what? I'll work with the blacks. Um, these are the most comfortable things. Usually with Birkenstocks, you have to like break them in, which takes like three to four even five wears to do. These you put your feet in and they are so comfortable. They have a really nice sole, so you know that it's gonna last for a while. And I'm incredibly hard on shoes, so this is perfect for me. I just really like that it has the Velcro straps, so you can easily adjust it. Um, it also has these studs on both sides, which are so cute. And it just has the Sam and Libby 
logo on the bottom of the shoe if you guys can see it i don't know if it focused um i am so excited to finally get these i actually plan on wearing these today with my romper too because you know why not but yeah last thing so the last thing that i have for you guys is this black bag and this is just what it looks like i actually got this from my aunt um, my aunt gave it to me a while ago, and I'm so happy to get it because I've been wanting a black bag like this for so long. You guys have probably seen me use this in, like, Instagram pictures, and I have definitely posted videos of this in there. I did a vlog recently, which I'm going to post later on, where I did a what's in my bag with this exact bag. I use this for everything. It's big enough that I can take it to school with me. So I use it as my school bag. And it's perfect to take on the weekends. Because I know on the weekends my family like to go on random adventures. So I can put like some snacks in here. A water bottle. My camera. My phone. Wallet. Everything. And still have room. Which is so nice. Um, it just has a striped detailing in the center. Or in, inside. It's black and white striped. And... It just has these fringes and gold buckles and everything. And it's a double strapped one, so you can either turn it into a crossbody or you can wear it just on the shoulder, which I really, really like. I usually just wear it as a crossbody, but it is definitely my favorite bag ever. And yeah. so yeah, that's pretty much my entire haul for you guys. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what is your summer essentials. I think mine is definitely going to be this romper. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys on my next video. I love you all. Bye.